Hey guys, as you can see, I have absolutely no makeup on, and if you know what that means, that means I am going to do a review. And I'm going to do a review today on the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. And this is a concealer, it's Crease Control Hydrating Concealer, it says there on the bottom. And they recently came out with this at Sephora. Um, you can probably get it at your Ulta if you're in the States. Or you can get it at Shoppers if you live in Canada. Um, but I just picked mine up at um, Sephora and it was $29, I believe. And I'll just read what it says on the back. Um, I saw this in a commercial on Sephora's YouTube channel, so I'll link that down below. And I'll just read you what it says on the back here. So it says, this crease control hydrating concealer with vitamin E and apple seed extract hides dark circles and diffuses fine lines for a silky smooth ultra natural look. Fake up never settles and neither should you. So that's what it says on the back and then I'll just read you how it says to use it. Um, but you feel free to use it however you want. Um, so to use, stroke fake up underneath each eye. Using your ring finger, pat gently upward to blend. So that's what it says um, on the back how to use it. I'm going to use it that way to see um, if how like they say how to use it actually works. So I'll just show you the package. So the package kind of looks like a lipstick tube. It's really like fancy. It's silver and it has fake up on the front. And then it has really cute, um, like, floral kind of detailing on it. So this is what it looks like in the inside. So the white um, kind of clear ring around it is the moisturizer, which will hydrate under your eyes. And then the inside, the, like, pale color, that is the concealer. So I'll just show you. So that's what it looks like. And it doesn't really come with a lot on the package it says 0.12 or 0.12 ounces so just kind of put it up that's how much there is in the tube there is not very much um, but it's a concealer so and it's really expensive so I'd be using it um, only probably only for special occasions if it does work really well so I'm just going to show you how to use it so we'll start with this eye first and then I'll do a little comparison so I'm just going to put it under the eye. Okay. And then it says to blend it upward. It's really, really creamy. And I don't know. It feels really moisturizing, like already. And my eye, like under my eyes, does get really dry because of my acne medication. So I thought that this would be really, really nice. I'm just gonna sweep it over the top of my lid a little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like for a comparison. I do have, I still have um, a little bit of purple showing there. But that is the comparison between, so this one you can see. I have a lot of purple, and then this one isn't too bad. I'm just going to blend it a little bit more. So, there. Just kind of show far away. And then this is really close up. So, I think I'm going to put a little bit more on just in the inside here. Blend upwards. I do have really bad under eye circles, so I'm like a concealer holic. Okay. So there's like a second coat. Um, I'm gonna finish the next eye and I'll see you back in a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back and I did this eye now. Um, it actually doesn't look too bad. You can still kind of see like the, the indent um, by my um, eyes for my dark circles, but I don't mind it. It's not that bad. Let's give you a little bit of a close up there. 
Um, it's not that bad. It's really moisturizing. I can already feel it. The time is now 11.30. So I'm just going to go and put the rest of my makeup on and straighten my hair. And I'll see you back in a few seconds. Hey guys, so I'm back and I just finished on um, my makeup. So as you can see, the under my under eye circles are pretty much almost covered. Um, it's usually just the light. Um, I use my CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation um, and I try not to put it under my eyes so that um, you guys can get a really good look at what it will look like. Um, so I am just going to put down in my phone how I feel about the um, concealer and how it looks throughout the day and I will um, finish filming this tonight. So I guess I'll see you guys in probably a few seconds. Um, so I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so I'm in a different location to do the rest of this video for you guys. Um, it is now 9, I think it's like 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now and I've been wearing it all day and I have some updates for um, the Benefit Fake Up Concealer. So I checked my concealer, at, well I left the house at 1 o'clock, no 12 o'clock and I was outside on the bus uh, at the mall outside, it was really hot today and at 2 2.30 I looked at it and it did it wasn't creased but it did look like it was kind of going away so I did a little bit of a touch up and then at 5 o'clock um, it went complete it was completely gone and by 7 um, I had absolutely no concealer under my eyes so I don't really like this concealer um, to be really honest if you want something that's moisturizing get an eye cream instead of this concealer I was really hoping that's, that this concealer would work for me, but it didn't. So if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and try it, but this is just my opinion. So if you guys want to go get it at Sephora, that's great. But um, I don't like it personally, um, so you have to try it out for yourself. But out of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 4 or 5. Um, it did not crease, but it also went away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.